Hey YouTube, Brett's iPod Help here, and today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your iOS 4.3.1 or 4.3 device using the newly released Red Snow 0.9.6 RC9. So this jailbreak is available for both Mac and PC users. It is the same way you jailbroke on any other previous Red Snow. Um, <clears throat> there is something to keep in mind though. This is not available for the iPad 2, so all those, all you iPad 2 users, uh, you're still gonna have to wait for a for a future jailbreak. Um, other things you need to keep in mind: this is an untethered jailbreak, so that is really good. And um, that's about all I have to say for this at the moment. So I'll actually have a link in the description below as to how you can download Red Snow for both Windows and Mac. And for Windows, which I'm going to be demonstrating for you today, um, you will get it as a .zip file, so you can just extract that, and I have mine right here. So all you need to do is just enter into here, and you should get these files. Um, so all you need to do is just run this, and you will get this interface, so I hope I can get it in there. Uh, just move this a bit. So you will get this interface. Um, you will have to have downloaded your iOS 4.3.1 firmware or iOS 4.3, it doesn't really matter. Um, I'll have a link in the description below as to how you can download that. It is from felixbruns.de if you have not used it before. And once you have finished downloading that, you will need to browse for your firmware. So I have mine right here, iOS 4.3.1, um, 8G4, restore for the iPod Touch 4th generation. So all you need to do is just press open and then it should take a while to process the firmware. It usually takes about 10 to 15 seconds, so just give it a few seconds. And there we go, IPSW successfully identified, so you can see that right there. Then all you need to do from here on is just press next. And again, this should take just a few seconds. It is preparing the jailbreak data. You will need a Wi-Fi or not a Wi-Fi or just an internet connection of any sort uh, for this. Wi-Fi, Ethernet doesn't matter. And then for uh, my device, I will be getting these options right here. So again, I'll zoom in and try to get that in there. Um, so I have install Cydia, install custom uh, bundle. So if you have like some um, other Cydia packages that you want to install with this, you can check this off, and you will be able to. Um, install your custom packages. Uh, you will also get enable battery percentage, just boot tethered right now. I don't see why they actually put this in there because it is an untethered jailbreak. Uh, just uh, just enter pawn DFU right now. So um, again, those two are really if you have an untethered jailbreak, which I actually don't see why they put that in there, but I guess we'll see in a few minutes. Um, so I'm actually going to just keep these uh, checked off, the install Cydia and the enable battery percentage. So we can just click next again. And then from here on, you're going to have to shut off your device. So I'm going to do that right now. So slide the power off. And I'm actually going to give you a brief demonstration of what you have to do from here on. So DFU mode, how to enter that. First, you are going to have to be holding the sleep and wake button uh, for about three seconds. And then from after that, you're going to need to hold your home button for 10 seconds while keeping a hold on your sleep wake button. So both at the same time. Um, so again, three seconds for this, but without releasing the uh, power button, also press the home button. Then after about 10 seconds, you will be needing to release the sleep wake button, but keep holding your home button for another 15 seconds or until the screen goes white. So that's just a brief demonstration of what we have to do for this. So now all you need to do as soon as you're ready, just press next, again, power off your device for this. So next, okay. Hold the power button for three. Now the uh, home button for 10, so both of them at the same time. Try to get both in there. And then release the power button. You can see that right there. You should hear some stuff on your computer. So now that it is jailbreaking, Keep a hold on your home button. So now it is exploiting with Lime Rain. Sorry, I had to cut clip there, but uh, 
Um, yeah, so now you should get these uh, all this writing when you're uh, jailbreaking. So you can actually exit out of Red Snow right now. So I'm not going to cut the rest of this out. I'm going to leave this uncut. So here we go, now you get the little running pineapple thing. So again, just give this a bit. So it's moving the applications right now. If you want, you can probably just skip ahead if you already haven't. And there's really nothing too much that's happening here, so. Just skip ahead if you want, it doesn't matter. This will take a while, so yeah. And now it's doing something. It's starting to worry there. But now it's installing the bundles. So there we go. Now it should be booting up. Yeah, there we go. So now it is booting up. So you see the little Apple logo right there. If you want, you can go ahead and unplug your device. It really doesn't need to be plugged in right now. So there we go, and the little power thing, the power connection. And there you go, it is now powered up, so you can slide to unlock. And you can just go over here, so Cydia is actually white. And there you go, it's opening file systems, or preparing file systems rather. I have not used this jailbreak yet, so I'm actually um, testing this out with you guys, so we should be, this should be interesting. So I think after this it will respring, so just give it a minute. So yeah, there you go, and it's respringing now. So just give it a second or two. So now you can slide to unlock. And the Cydia is still white. That's interesting. So you can go back into this. And it should ask if you're a user, hacker, or developer or not. Well, there you go, guys. Um, I do now have Cydia on my iOS 4.3.1 device. And to actually prove to you that this completely works, I'll just go do some stuff here and I have Cydia. So if you guys can't see down the bottom, try to see if you can, iPod Touch 4th generation, iOS 4.3.1 and Cydia 1.1.1 and if that doesn't satisfy your uh, requirements to um, see if this is iOS 4.3.1, I'll go to settings, general, about, let's try to cover up some stuff, but yeah, there you go. You should see iOS or uh, version 4.3.1. So hopefully, hopefully you can see that. Yeah, I think you can. But there you go. iOS 4.3.1 on um, iPod Touch fourth generation with Sydney Cydia. Um, I still don't know why it is a white icon. I guess that will be fixed in a little while. 
But yeah, if there's an update to it, I'll actually have an annotation on the screen as to how you can fix that. But anyways, guys, hopefully this really quick tutorial has helped you out. Uh, if you like stuff like this, please hit the subscribe button up top as well. Like it up, and if you have any questions or comments, uh, you can just leave it in the comment section below. And uh, without any further ado, I'll let you guys go. Happy jailbreaking. Peace.